Yo, what up, fight fans? I just got finished watching the video from Carcino, and he usually makes some good videos, and then he makes some videos that leave you just scratching your head, like the video of him saying Larry Bird was better than Michael Jordan, Sergey Kovalev is on steroids, Gennady Golovkin on, is on steroids, those kind of videos. When he say stuff like that, it leaves you kind of scratching your head. And he left me scratching my head again today. This man just said, quoting him, that Amir Khan ducked Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez. Amir Khan turned down $7 million to fight Canelo Alvarez. Now I want to get into this. I, and I want you guys to listen to me. I'm going to get into this response video. Because I don't know if Carcino is just saying that to be a comic, a comedian. Maybe he's trying to start him a stand-up comedy channel. I don't know. Maybe he wants to be a stand-up comic. Or if he really believes what he's saying, I don't know. But let's break down the areas of the blasphemy. First he says, Amir Khan turned down $7 million. Okay, let's get into that. I want you guys to listen to me now. Manny Pacquiao turned down $40 million to fight Floyd Mayweather. Let me repeat that. Manny Pacquiao turned down $40 million to fight Floyd Mayweather. And you want to know why Manny Pacquiao turned down $40 million to fight Floyd Mayweather? I'm going to let you guys take a guess as to why Manny Pacquiao turned down $40 million to fight Floyd Mayweather. Was it because Manny Pacquiao was scared of Floyd Mayweather? Could it be? Was it because Manny Pacquiao was ducking Floyd Mayweather? Could that be the reason? Or could it be that the $40 million offer from Floyd Mayweather was bullshit? A, B, C. Which one, which one is it? A, B, C, or D? I mean, A, B, or C. Was Pacquiao scared? Was Pacquiao ducking? Or was the $40 million offer bullshit? You guys tell me. We know it was a $300 million live, uh, live gate. Total purse all together combined. So Manny Pacquiao would get 40 million and Floyd Mayweather would get 260 million, right? Because Floyd said I, I was gonna give him 20 million and then wire him another 20 million. That's 40 million. Seems like a month, lot of money, doesn't it? So here we go with Carcino saying that Amir Khan turned down seven million dollars. Seems like a lot of money, doesn't it? Turned down seven million dollars to fight Kell Brook. When Eddie Hearn went to, went to, went to Amir Khan. Damn, who's, who's trying to hit me up? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I was getting the message coming in. Sorry about that. Okay, Eddie Hearn went to Amir Khan. I guess yeah, Amir Khan said they was at a game. And he told Amir Khan, I'm going to give you $10 million to fight Kell Brook. Amir Khan was like, cool. Okay, during the negotiations, Amir Khan. See, this is how I know a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Amir Khan goes to kill the um Eddie Hearn. He says, let's make the fight. I want the $10 million. I believe that would have been a 30-70 split or 80-20 split. He says, I'm the A-side. Even Eddie Hearn agrees that Amir Khan is the A-side. Um, Eddie Hearn has said it several times that Amir Khan is the A-side. Okay, so Amir Khan says, give me 70-30, 80-20, $10 million that you promised me, and we'll make the fight. Eddie Hearn writes on Twitter, that when Amir Khan asked him for the 10 million, he sped out his coffee. And I'll put that link in the description. Eddie Hearn says he sped out his coffee when Amir Khan asked him for the 10 million that he promised Amir Khan. Because that fight is gonna do 90,000 in Wembley Stadium. Amir Khan is the A side. You're not fooling anybody, Eddie Hearn. He's, he's worth 10 million dollars for that fight. Kell Brook is worth no more than three or four million at most. He's the B-side. Even Eddie Hearn says Kell Brook is the B-side. So seven million dollars is a BS offer. And he only offered Amir Khan half of the 10 million. He offered him five million, not seven. Learn your boxing. Follow boxing and learn your boxing before you report nonsense. Okay, then let's get into this nonsense about Amir Khan ducking Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez. To fight a guy that say... He gonna rehydrate to 190 pounds. Damn the 200 pound middleweight. So we're ducking Kell Brook. Kell Brook is a good fighter now. Don't get me wrong. He's a great fighter. We're ducking Kell Brook to fight the middleweight champion. Pound for pound. Number eight pound for pound. 
who's going to rehydrate to 190 motherfucking pounds, damn near 200 pounds, a waterweight now, who's jumping two weight classes to fight a middleweight at 190 pounds. And we're ducking Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez. Again, I don't know if Carcino is saying this to be a comedic, a co comedian, or is a, does he really believe this? Please, please tell me you're trying to be a stand-up comedian, please. Because I hope none of your subscribers or you really believe that Amir Khan ducked Kell Brook to fight a 190-pound welterweight, a middleweight. And this is something the fighter that you love would not do himself. He would not jump from welterweight to middleweight to fight Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. And we talk about wins and losses. Sugar Ray Leonard got 19 losses. And do you know why he's more respected? In the game than Floyd? Because the man was willing to take risks in his career. Nobody gives a shit about Sugar Ray Robinson having 20 losses. Because what the man did in his career, he earned respect. He has respect. No one is going to care if Amir Khan loses to Canelo Alvarez. He's going up two weight classes. From Walter weight to middleweight. It's about respect, man. And if he wins this fight against Canelo... That does more for his career than beating Kell Brook. That's, le that's a legacy fight. Jumping all the way up from welterweight to middleweight. That's something Sugar Ray Robinson did. Henry Armstrong. I mean, not Sugar Ray Robinson. I mean, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. Henry Armstrong. This is a legacy fight. Fighting Kell Brook. That's, that, that don't do shit for his legacy. Not the way beating Canelo Alvarez for the middleweight title would do. Learn your boxing, man. Study boxing before you put out this nonsense, man. Because you got 40, 50,000 subscribers, man. You got a cult following and you feeding them this, this nonsense, man. So Amir Khan is not ducking no damn Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is a legacy fight. There is more risk involved in fighting Canelo. And, and Amir Khan is going to get between 2 to 6 million. And he's getting all the money on the pay-per-view back in, in the U.K., He's not gonna. He might not get no U.S. pay-per-view revenue, but he's getting all the pay-per-view revenue from Sky Sports or Box Nation, whoever buys the fight in the U.K. He's getting all that pay-per-view revenue along with his purse, which is gonna be two to six million dollars, may even be higher than that. So I don't know what this man is talking about. Like I said, man, I'm gonna put the link in the description so y'all guys can see his video, man. Crazy, straight nonsense. Y'all leave y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Let me know, is Amir Khan ducking Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez? You tell me. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I want to know, is Amir Khan ducking Kell Brook to fight Canelo Alvarez? And should he have took, took a low ball offer of $7 million to fight Kell Brook and not the, not the $10 million that Eddie Hearn initially offered him? Should he have took that low ball offer of $7 million? And it wasn't even $7 million, it was $5 million. Should he have took that low ball offer? And let me know, is Amir Khan ducking?